Hey, this is Kiko uh, from South Austin Barbershop, and we're going to do a haircut and a beard trim. All right, so how are we doing this haircut today? Yeah, so like the last few times I've got a cut, mm -hmm. um, I'm growing it back out, so I'm growing kind of getting away out. from the fade to something just a little bit more loose, airy. Um, okay. And the real inspiration is that for that is it's just kind of fits my body type and my my age and my personality. Gotcha. Um, so what I've been really wanting to do, mm -hmm. you know, going back a couple months ago, is grow it out so I can kind of do like a more airy, uh, like Jeff Goldblum style haircut. Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Man. So I I took, got some photos for you. Um, All right. So. As you can tell, he's not using much product here, um, or right. he is using some product, but it's not. Um, gotcha. It's not really kept, um, but it just has like you can do multiple things with it. Like so, I, I imagine like that when I got it, my haircut initially, this is probably what it would look like, and it can be grown out to something more like that. Gotcha. If that makes sense. Yeah. So um, he kind of has the same hair mm. that I do, mm -hmm. right? Um, my struggle is that I've got a lot of <laughs> hair up top. Okay. Um, and so I kind of feel like it needs to be thinned out a little bit. We can do that. Um, if we look at the mirror too, like something that I that I struggle, like I don't like about my hair is that when I part it to the side, like it starts doing like this here. So okay. It's kind of hard to keep it like down, down. and up. Yeah. So whatever we can do to kind of thin it out and kind of get to that point while, you know, we kind of keep some of the flyaways, you know, in a couple weeks, you know, okay. when it grows back out. I'm totally cool with that. Cool. So, yeah. That'll work. Yeah, I don't like using too much product in my hair at any given point. Mm-hmm. I guess I got a lot of it, and I don't, things with like a, a really strong hold doesn't really hold up very well with my style. So if I can do something like, like a sea salt spray, like yeah. put in my hair, something that can kind of keep the texture there, but also make it not look like I'm wearing, any product like i'm all about that i think the best route to go with that is definitely if you uh take a little time to blow dry your hair oh yeah and then add a little product at the end okay because uh when you heat up your hair with the with the blow dryer it uh opens up the follicles and then when you actually add like some pomade what happens is that um it, it uh, gives it the dry look and then it gives you that that hold or whatever it is that you're looking for if you right. want to style it a certain way it'll give it that that look as well as you know it's dry it looks natural it doesn't look like you got you know a bunch of product in your hair you know what i mean yeah and it's so funny i'm intimidated by the blow dryer <laughs> it's like a tool i have no idea how to use yeah right? man it's just like you know just gotta practice a little bit with it really yeah. it's just not so much as to get the right form with the with the blow dryer, but definitely just heat it up, you know, yeah. heat the hair up a little bit. And then uh, from there, add a little product and then start styling it how you want to. So when I get out of the shower, like, mm -hmm. I feel like just, you know, towel dry my hair. Towel dry. Keep it a little damp still before I blow dry? Or? Exactly. You don't want to, you know, be working that blow dryer the whole time, you right. know, but definitely go out there and, and just warm, uh, dry it up all the way, you know, and then add some product. And then from there, uh, just start styling it how you want. Because right. after you heat it up and and you, uh, and uh, after you heat it up and you put that product in there, definitely what it's gonna do is gonna give it that um, more flexibility. It's gonna start moving around how you want it. And then, uh, with the product, it just hold how, however you style your hair. Gotcha. Right now, I'm starting with the eight. I'm just getting used to his hair, trying to see the length of his hair right now before I decide to go a little bit shorter, a little bit, you know, or start going with the clipper over comb type uh, technique. Good deal. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, it was funny. Like when I would get a fade, it was so much more easy to communicate what I wanted mm -hmm. because, you know. It's, got its own like like set of parameters right right but like when i get my hair cut like this like i struggle to like communicate with the barber exactly what it is i'm looking for you know pictures do wonders you know when it comes to like explaining what it is that you want because yeah everybody's got their own terminology when it comes to cutting hair or uh, 
you know, when it comes to a hairstyle, you know. Yeah. You know, people say so many different things for a certain hairstyle, but you go on the other side of the country, it means something else. You right. Know? So pictures is be uh, definitely the way to go. How long have you been cutting hair here? In this location? Uh, for South oh, Austin Barbershop. For South Austin, uh, for two years. Okay. Yeah, since I've been here in Austin, I've been coming right here. Yeah, you started off kind of like, uh, like, like a, not, not in residence, but like, you just had a chair, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, hey, cut hair, you know. That's how it started. I just came in and uh, was looking for work. I was interested. I saw it online. Um, and then from there, they're just like, you know, just pull out your clippers. So let's see what you got. I put in a good four hours and the vibe was good. Everything was good. So I ended up being right here. So you feel like you've learned a lot just by, you know, the, the colleagues here too? Like just oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I, I learn everywhere I go, I learn something. I pick up something from someone else that I work with, something that I didn't even think of that, that can definitely help. Yeah, this is clip rover comb. Full open gut or full open clippers? Yeah, this is pretty much a balding clipper. It has no uh, opener close. It's just going straight to the closest it can get it. And I'm using this. This is my guard right here. This big uh, flat comb right here. So I'm working from that eight area where it was pretty much all to the mid, mid part of the haircut. So working it up, just getting that nice blend, working my way up. How much are we taking off the top right now? Uh, we're doing about a quarter inch right now. Not so much. Um, you do like the length, right? Yeah, I do. So we're not going to take a whole lot out. We're just pretty much working with uh, about a quarter inch off the top. Well, you know, I say I like length. I don't know if I do. <laughs> and that, that sounds, I know that might sound ridiculous, but I want to try out this haircut for a while. Yep. And I'd rather do it with more length than less length so I can take more off the next time I get a cut. Yep. You know, like, it's enough feeling like I have to grow it out for a month. If I don't like length, I can come back in two and a half, three weeks. Absolutely. And, and keep working it. Use, use what we've used here, right? Mm -hmm. And expand on it to get exactly what it is I'm looking for. I feel like, you know, a new haircut takes time to grow into. Exactly. Uh, you, you can always change things up, but you can cut off too much hair and you're like, dang, I got another six months before I try that again. Yep. So now I'm just gonna thin the hair out a little bit, give them a little more more uh, flexibility with the hair so it can move around a little bit. Brian, how long have you been coming to Kiko? So first time I got my hair cut was probably right when you started. I don't even think you were a full-time barber then. No, man, I was just getting started over in uh, South Austin Barbershop. Yeah, there was a total referral coming to South Austin Barbershop. A, a friend had, uh, I was looking out for a new place. I wanted to get more of a, um, I wanted that community feel from mm -hmm. the barber. I didn't want to be going to Finley's or, you know, something like that. Not, no, not on Finley's, but oh, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, to teach their own. Finley's is great, you walk and get a haircut or, you know, Floyd's or whatever that might be, right. but mm -hmm. like if I'm paying 35, I'm fine to pay 45 if it means I can have a great conversation. Yeah. Instead of trying to pu push me out in 30 minutes, like, oh, like yeah. Kiko, this is an hour long experience. Like, mm -hmm. the, the two, my two spa treatments are going to the haircut, go get a haircut and playing golf. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's who I am, so. This is it, man. This is my time away. My, my ability to get a little recharge session in, you know. For real, nice little escape, you know. Yeah. And I, I mean, when I got my hair cut with Kika, I remember that. I remember just how easy the conversation was, obviously being happy with my haircut. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was such a beautiful testament of it. Just hearing what people were talking about, just, just such the positive vibe that was so honest, like almost inherent into your brand. I thought it was so cool. Yeah, everything is super authentic out there. Everybody was their own. Everybody um, just had a good time. And you're obviously successful too. I mean, you're opening a new, the, opening a new shop, taking on new barbers, yep. getting, getting new people in, new clientele. It's crazy from the day I started to where we at today. Cause yeah, it was only seven chairs when we got started, <laughs> and that was two years ago. You know, and 
Now we went from seven and nine at the new spot because we had a remodel to now we got a whole nother shop here. So the growth is there. Um, the reputation is there. Everybody knows. And this location now, like the locals around the area just keep seeing so much people walking in. They're interested. They're coming in. They're asking questions. They're getting into the program of, you know, knowing how we work. You know, it's an online booking system and they love it. Everybody loves the convenience of that. Yeah, it's awesome. I think open up at nine is nice too. Yeah, you you like come in and get an early cut. Yes, sir. Definitely. You yeah, like in this early morning filming? <laughs> I've been peeking at this mirror over here along the way. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so always one mirror. You could just check yourself yeah, right. out. Make you sure things are on there. They face the clients away from the mirrors. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of like a reveal, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, like wait and see. <laughs> trust me. Complete trust. <laughs> <laughs> but it has a lot to, more to do with, you know, barbers. We specifically uh, work on, like, we specialize on shorter hair, we'll say. Yeah, you know? that's true. Yeah. So we 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 go from clipper to clipper a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to have them face the way the client, just for the simple fact that we're constantly going back, grabbing something else, right? Keep working, as opposed to a hairstylist who got shears and a comb, right? And pretty much they got it all right here on them. Mm, so interesting. They just work with everything they got right on top of them, right with everything on, on them, so. You feel you're real comfortable in front of the camera. You're doing awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's what I love about the shop. The camera's been really cool on camera. Filming the other shops before, they just won't say anything. Just nervous, and yeah, or they just don't really want to do it. Gotcha. It's, it's awesome, awesome that they'll do it, but you know, you can tell they're not super. Yeah, they're probably a little nervous, attentive, just yeah. didn't know exactly what to say. Well, it helps shooting it on a camera too, where he can walk around mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. it being like this professional rig or something like that. Right. It'll make you feel more uncomfortable. Like, or not even a couple, maybe a little bit more nervous. Yeah, that's why I don't bring like a bunch of lights or anything. Right, I can see that. That would be a little bit more unnatural for him, yeah. for anybody. That's true. And then for the beard, how do you want to get that part done? You know, I was going to show you one of the photos. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going short. Okay. All right. We can, uh, we can do uh, that. I am terrible at trimming my own beard. I have no clue what I'm doing. So if you could give me some, tell me what exactly it is you're doing. Mm -hmm. I have a, I have some really nice clippers. I don't have the right guards I need for my clippers. Okay. So if you could just help communicate maybe what it is I should buy mm -hmm. and what you're, you're actually doing so I can, because I feel like I can do this myself yeah. to a certain degree, right? Yeah, this right here I would say is very short. Yeah. So it's really just one size that you're looking for. Okay. A specific size to get that that look right there. Okay, so maybe for. get a get a couple guards, go big, and work your way back. Yeah, down. you could okay. definitely work your way down. I'll I'll uh, have a better number. I'll have a number for you as soon as I get started. Okay, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work work uh, big and go down, so awesome. I can give you that 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 look that you're looking. And for, on the for sure. on the mustache, I do want to kind of <laughs> keep it where it's at. I don't want the defined like the definition above my lip line. Right. Where you, you can kind of go like, it's almost like bald, I feel right. for lack of better words. Um, so if we can keep it, you know, kind of at my lip, mm -hmm. kind of make it look just a, like a little bit more grown out, mm -hmm. versus being looking like a true trim. Okay. As you can tell, like, that's kind of what I'm going for is not messy, but 
and not unkept, but yeah. something just a little bit more natural. A little more natural, okay. Yeah. But you do want it like the way he has it right now, right? Right, or, exactly. Okay. exactly. Yeah. The mustache and the and the beard are always they they always are a little bit different, you know. Yeah. Sometimes I gotta go a little bit shorter with the mustache just because the way the hair grows on the okay. mustache. So definitely I'll start with one guard okay. and just work my way around. Perfect. And if they look a little bit different, I can even that out, you know, Great. definitely. And as far as the sides, like you could tell, so I've, I've trimmed down here, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't shave it down here just because I do like how it kind of like, like grows tapers in. and grows okay. down into it. So um, I don't want it to, so I don't want it to be like too like boxy edged or anything yeah, so like that. So it's okay that. to maybe trim it up on the flyaways down here, mm -hmm. but I don't want, like I said, I want it to kind of be, I don't know, more full. More but full. So basically what you're asking for is you don't want no, no defined lines, right, right? Right. You want no sharp lines anywhere. You pretty much want it just kind of to fade out. Right. Exactly. You know, so basically we can start off at a certain length. Okay. And then just go lower and lower to kind of just fades out. Perfect. You know what I mean? That'd be perfect. All right. Awesome. That'll work. So what are we going in with first then? I'm going in with the two just to be on the safe side right now. And just gonna work that all the way around. And obviously I need to go a little bit shorter, but maybe this might be the right length just for this area mm -hmm. and then be able to fade away. Okay. So when I'm doing this myself, I can start with a two. Yeah, you could definitely start with a two. Okay. But my two and your two might be different. True. You maybe know. a three even. Yeah, it all depends. Uh, I don't if know you want to get specific, too, right. like there is the 6.3 millimeter. Oh, okay. That'll be the, you know, there's no change in that, you know. All right. Metrics is metric, right? So. I, I would say clipper wise, a very professional clipper and same time it's a, it's a cheap clipper where you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. A good house clipper, I would say walls. You know, walls is perfect, you know. Uh, you could get a, a walls clipper, a really good one, for like 60 bucks, oh, okay. 50 bucks, something like that. And it does anything you want it to do. Like a, a professional, the professionals prefer a wall. So we consider those as professional clippers because obviously uh, they, have, they, they don't let you down. And by the time they do let you down, it's probably about two or three years down the line. And it's probably because you didn't do the right maintenance along the way. You mm -hmm. know, you probably didn't keep up with it as much as you should. Because some people got clippers that they've had for over five years. And as long as you do the maintenance, the oiling, the new blades, things like that, Really, what, what you want on a clipper is the motor. The motor is everything okay. about the clipper, you know? The blades always can be replaced. You know, even things inside the clipper can always be replaced. But the motor is everything. Like the components can be replaced, but you need, like... Absolutely. Like, like the this. camera, right? Like, a good, good camera body will... Can always, you can always upgrade the lens. You can always upgrade any of that stuff. So Absolutely. Like, yeah. Okay. So that's what it's all about at the end of the day. So basically, everywhere where I said it was the two, I'm going with the one and a half, because I feel like one and a half is actually a better look. And then for one and a half, I'll be fading. Basically, what I'm doing now, too, is just giving a, a good eyeball test. You know, mm -hmm. you want to, the longest part of your hair should be somewhere around the beard area, even the mustache, you know, everything else should be kind of like faded away, mm -hmm. you know, so definitely like you, if you don't want to go any shorter than what you have on the beard, then that's where you want to stop, you know, and then from there you will want to fade everything out just a little bit just to where you don't have those, uh, those lines in there. So this is a 1A, just gonna work on these lines right here just so they can kind of fade.
Yeah, gonna start fading out these areas right here. Because those are the barber channels on YouTube, but it's usually just the barber who's mm -hmm. doing them. And what he'll do is he'll just set down the camera. Yeah. And then just kind of speed through it, you know, like fast forward the whole footage. Right, that's usually what I see. Yeah, when I'm up the speed or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's cool, but I don't think a lot of people know what to do with it. It's like, oh, that was fun. Yeah. Like with this, you could actually take this footage and then, like, you know, go to your barber and say, hey, can you do this? That'll work. Or other barbers watch them and say, like, oh, I didn't even know how to do that part. But they're so calming to watch, too. They, <laughs> they really are. Especially when they don't, like, when people don't talk. Usually I get kind of upset when they don't talk, but I'll get in the studio and then go, you know what, actually, this is really nice to just relax to. Yeah. The fade is coming in very nice. What guard are you using here? This one is just an open guard. Okay. Um, in the masters, the so masters. You're pushing down and working your way up. I can kind of feel like I feel that pressure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely, I'm going from the the least amount and working my way up. Okay. This is a one A now. We're going a little bit shorter. Guard you from getting hit with these mm -hmm. hair flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you say razors, that's no lie, man. These little hairs, when you get, when you cut them, obviously, obviously they, they're sharp. And if they can find a way, a little crack, it's a like little crease or something, they mm -hmm. will get in you. I'm gonna lift you up. Okay. I'm gonna wet your hair, and then from this point on, I'm gonna just go ahead and start styling it. Okay, great. Definitely just gonna dry it up, but definitely wanna heat it up, you know? Yeah. This is like a, it's like a vent comb or a vent brush, which yeah definitely it allows me to scoop up your hair okay. to let it dry up too and give it the form that I'm looking for. So now this is a matte finish right here. Okay. So it's going to give you that dry look, but it's also going to give you a hold. Okay. And that's. That's what you want. Oh man, it almost feels like a transformation, man. <laughs> it's it's a subtle transformation. Yeah, exactly. It's because you got such a good hair texture, bro. A lot in there. Yeah, it's thick. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look and tell me what it is that if you want to go a little bit shorter on the beard or a little yeah, bit shorter on the hair. The beard awesome. Yeah, I like the beard length. Awesome. I like the whole thing. Great. Seriously, yeah. You could great. Take, you can take a look in the back, see uh, how the black flows. Yeah. Yeah, dude, awesome. Big fan. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. Great, Definitely. Thank you so much. Yep, no problem. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Beardbrand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.